Also bei mir war es ja so, dass ich als Baby schon. In my case, I was already sick when I was a baby, so I actually grew up with the knowledge that at some point dialysis or transplantation would come my way. At the time, my mother was prepared to give me one of her kidneys so that she might also have a grandchild. I got pregnant, but I couldn't carry the child to term. And after the fourth pregnancy, my mother's kidney finally fell completely. Meanwhile, the physician always explained the difference between peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis to me. And for me, having another transplant right away was out of the question, because a transplant is not the very best alternative. So one doesn't have a transplant and the next day, life is absolutely back to normal. And since another transplant was out of the question for me, I had to choose between the two. Entscheiden. Of course, I also talked to my husband about it and imagined to the last detail what it would be like to go to the center for hemodialysis three times a week and to be somewhat at the mercy of others three times a week. Because you're kind of dependent on the nurses to place the needles correctly and you're being pricked constantly. And you also have a shunt, i.e. a thickened vein and so on. And that was just something I was afraid of. I wasn't too worried about the tube, which is easy to hide. And I knew that I would have to do it myself and that I would be responsible for myself. That's what I'm used to and I simply preferred that idea. But the fact that I would have to have a small tube and all that made me feel a bit depressed at the time because it meant having to get used to something new all over again. And the feeling now at night to have this volume of fluid inside my belly, it took me a while to get used to it. Then there are other issues, like woman's sexuality, for example. What would it be like with a tube in my belly? Would I still be attractive? Would I still be desirable? I wasn't sure. Who will I be then? Will I still be myself? That was the big question, the big fear on my side. But my husband put me at ease completely in that respect. He said it made absolutely no difference to him, and that simply made it easier for me. But when I started, I was quite proud of the fact that I managed it right away, that I only went in once and did the dialysis. And after that, I was able to do it on my own at home. My physician at the time also encouraged me a lot and told me that I was doing a good job. And of course, that also encourages one and gives one more courage, I think. I've been doing it for eight years now. It was eight years in April, and it actually worked wonderfully from the first moment. Someone who says, I don't want to have anything to do with that, I want to have my private life at home and deal with my sickness somewhere else, home dialysis would not be a good fit for that person because you need a bit of space and then you simply have this table in a room, the one with the drip there, and you also have to have space. I have problems with my foot. It has become stiff, and since then, I've had to be very careful not to trip over thresholds. And since I wanted to go back to my hometown anyway, we decided to build a house. 
ein barrierefreies Haus mit Aufzug. A disability friendly house with a lift and absolutely no thresholds. The garden is also completely level, so hopefully I won't need to use a crutch anymore. So these dreams are actually fulfilled now for the time being. A house was a very big dream. To get the garden back the way it was, that would be great. And otherwise, everything would remain as it is. Bleiben wie es ist.